camera. This video was posted on YouTube of the crash. It was recorded by a camera mounted right on the bike of one of the victims. You can see the black car there enter the picture, hit the cyclist, and then keep on going on Tunnel Road, not far from the Claremont Hotel. The two bike riders had bumps and bruises, but otherwise are okay. Police say they arrested the owner of the car this afternoon at the Jack London Inn in Oakland. He's identified as 43-year-old Michael Patrick Medaglia. Now for Sunnyvale's. I was finally able to get a hold of the uh, person who owns the van um, and had a chance to speak with her. Um, I wanted to fill you in on the details, but in short, uh, she was obviously uh, upset that she could have hurt somebody. Uh, she said she never, uh, she didn't remember there being any close event, which means that she probably didn't see you uh, for whatever reason. Um, but she, she was obviously upset by the, uh, by the interaction and, and was appreciative of educating her um, about that, she can be more aware. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call back. I'm going to uh, update this to the computer case we generated. Comparing data from the Highway Patrol. Comparing here the cities of Davis, Berkeley, and Sunnyvale. Davis and Sunnyvale have about the same intensity of car traffic and the same car injury rate. Yet Berkeley is much more intense, nearly double the rate for car accidents. Yet, Berkeley has half the injury rate that cyclist that Sunnyvale does. So what goes on here? If, if we look at these citations that the police give, we have a clue here. Berkeley, over half the citations are for injuries that motors cause to cyclists. In Sunnyvale, the leading infraction by far, more than double than any other one, is her cyclist riding the wrong way. Berkeley, despite being much denser, has remarkably better support and results due to better infrastructure with bike boulevards, education, street markings, and the police are aggressive in citing motorists that are endangered cyclists. In Davis, it's actually safer to ride a bike than ride a car. Time for complacency is not now. We need to make our streets safe. We need to give the legal tools and the police support keeping cars a safe distance away from cyclists.